Hey, what's up guys? My name is Achano. Welcome to episode 23 of Game Programming. So yesterday we were pretty damn awesome and we drew this grass texture, but the problem was we couldn't actually move, right? If I hit the WASD keys or the arrow keys, we're not moving. So today we're actually gonna cover how we move around our little creation here, but more specifically, um, you know, how how we plan to navigate maps in this game. Because I, I feel that I feel that that's something that needs to be covered in depth. And um and yeah, so let's just jump into it. So we have a few different things set up here, right? And there are a bunch of comments, there are a bunch of um things that we're not using. There's just so much stuff that I'm literally just gonna delete everything and make it just the bare essentials. So this is what is actually in use. You can see that this, these pretty much three lines of code here, or well actually this one line of code is what renders the entire game right now, okay? So how do we actually navigate around it? If we go back into our game class, you can see that the way we actually sort of navigate is we increase and decrease X and Y values based on which arrow key we hit or which key we hit basically, so the WASD keys, whatever. If we hit the key to go up, we subtract um, uh, numbers from Y. Uh, if we go down, then we add. If we go left, we subtract from X, and if we go right, we add to X. And we actually plug in these uh, variables into the parameters for our screen.render method, which is right over here, so there are offsets. Now, in order to actually apply the offsets to here, we have to do a few things right? Basically what it is, is we're saying that pixels, which is what gets drawn on our screen, need to be offset by a, by a specific amount, right? Based on where we are in the map. So the way we can do that is simply by saying that X will actually be X plus X offset, right? Because if the offset is negative 10, for example, so we've gone left 10 pixels, um, it will be x plus minus 10, which will be x minus 10, which will be whatever x is minus 10, correct? Yeah. And same with y, so y plus y offset. And what that will do is actually use these parameters to set the offset for the map. So in other words, to tell our game, to, tell, to basically display the map in its correct position based on where we are in it. Now, Obviously, this isn't exactly going to work as intended in the final game, I mean. It's going to work, but it's not going to work as it will when we finish with it. And the reason for that is we've only built one portion of the map. We're not, we haven't actually built a map yet. All we've done is we've just repeated values. Yeah? We haven't actually done something. That's why it's not going to, you know, really work. Um, as, as, well, hang on. Well, it will work, obviously, but it just won't. If we hit this, in fact, I'll probably crash uh, if I try and move, just because um, X actually exceeds the correct amount. So what I'll actually do here is I'll say that if X is less than zero, or X is greater than or equal to width, then let's continue. And I'll do, I'll copy and paste it up, and I'll do the same for Y. So Y actually should have been up here. And if I preview that, then you can, oop, it crashed again. And the reason it actually crashed is because it was an offset. So I'll, I'll have to fix this up real quick. Instead of having, that, that, that code was just there to sort of demonstrate how, how it works. What I'll do now is I'll actually make this, I'll simplify that into one variable. So I'll make a variable for y, we'll call it int yp, and just y pixel equals y plus y offset. So in other words, this is exactly what's written here. And we'll actually replace this with yp, which is the variable we just created. And same with this, x plus, F, x, plus x offset is now gonna become xp. And we'll pop that right into here, just like that. All right, and why did we do that? That We did that so that we could actually make sure that xp and yp, oops, yp up here. Um, and I did that just so we, so we can make sure that XP and YP are actually the correct value before we actually try to find um, 
the pixels value of that index because if we do it at that at an incorrect index it will crash as you know so if we launch this this time we we'll, you'll see that we can actually move around the map obviously the map right now is limited to the size of our screen because we actually haven't made a map yet have we we've just made we've just made it loop and we've just made it loop enough times to actually be y is less than height which is the height of our screen and y and x is less than width which is the width of our screen so we made it go from zero to width and from zero to height right zero height zero width brilliant so the next step which is what we're going to actually cover over the next few days is actually making a level out of this so in other words what we're, what we're actually going to do is first of all we're going to um you know set up a way to actually define which tile is which tile so in other words we'll probably make some more textures like rocks or flowers and we'll um we'll place them around the uh, around the map we'll um we'll actually create a map map creating system um uh, like a like a, a level editor i guess um and we'll also actually split this up into its own level class to cover that now one other thing that i've noticed is if we actually just hit the bug and we don't click and we use the arrow keys we can't actually move we actually have to click first and then move and that's because the window isn't in focus by default so to do that well the window is in focus but the the canvas inside the window isn't in focus by default so to fix that we can go to game uh, the game.java class and then we can go right up here to the top of run and we'll just put it like just before the while running loop so just after all these variables before the while running loop we'll simply put one line of code which is request focus and that is it and request focus is actually a component I think it's from the component class it's either that or the canvas class I'm guessing it's component though or it just won't even light up yeah component it's a method in the, in the component class which allows us to simply, you know, open the game and look at that, it's in focus straight away. So yeah, and you can see that actually the movement is correct. So in other words, if we go down, uh, actually, no, it's not correct. My bad. Um, because if we go up, it's sort of, it's actually moving the map up. It's not moving the player up. But um, yeah, so that is how we move around the screen. And tomorrow we're gonna start on an awesome adventure on how to actually create our own levels. So until then guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Game Programming. If you did, please hit the like button, drop a comment, you know, let me know what you thought and let me know what you guys want me to do next. Well, actually, we're gonna do levels next, but you get the drift. If you guys want me to like incorporate some special thing into the game, start planning ideas because real soon I'm gonna start asking you guys what you want the game to be like um, when we actually get up to, that, uh, up to that point, which is relatively soon actually, to, um, you know, to customize this game and really build it based on what you guys what you guys want so yeah until then guys goodbye